Ravens win a close, close game. 30-28. That is too close for me. Let's get to it. So great win, great win for the Ravens. This one right here, as I stated in the intro, it was too close. We went into the half leading 17 to zero and they made a huge, huge comeback. Now, Lamar, I'm just gonna go everywhere with this one. So Lamar, yeah, I'm, I'm organizing. Lamar was the offense. Lamar, 27 attempts, 16 complete, 186 passing yards. One TD, nine carries, 108 yards. Mark Ingram, he got injured. J.K. Dobbins, nine carries, 28 yards. Gus, 14 carries, 26 yards. But they were so iffy. They were so, so, so iffy with the carries for his, um, when they was up. Because when they was up, they just started passing and passing. I understand they were trying to get that passing down packed, but it was so many problems with the offense. And really, Lamar did decent. He did a lot of side throws. They kept talking about that, and I kept seeing them. And at first, he was just getting a lot of balls batted. And then I think that got in his head where he just started doing side throws when there was no need for the passes to be side throwed. That's one problem. And then as well, I seen on this one as well, he's trying to spread that ball. Um, at first, the first half, I believe Hollywood did not have nothing coming toward him. And then next thing you know, second half, Hollywood starting to get his chance. But I can tell they're still slowly getting that work in progress. And I believe when the game started, I did not see Boykin out there. But Boykin, he caught a pass. But he had two targets. First one, he caught that good. He caught that for 11 yards. That second one, you will see in my reaction video. Hopefully, I put it in there that you see that frustration in Lamar when Boykin, he just kept going like it was a go route. And I'm and Lamar was just frustrated, like, dude, what what are you doing? Like he even looked at some of the coaches like, what is he doing? Where is he going? He's getting frustrated with that. But they were doing that. I saw him a lot out there. He had three targets, three catches. Every time ball come to him, it seemed like he catches it. But he had 31 yards. And Still no James Proche. I, I really would like to see him. He saved them on special teams with that outside kick. I'm like, he did that last week. He did it this week. The dude has a knack just to go grab. And they say he has one of the best hands on the on the team. Why not, you know? And then we have this bye week, so hopefully whatever's going on with the offense, this bye week will help us, help us a lot. And also, the defense. The defense, Calais Campbell did his thing. Calais Campbell did his thing. I was going to mention, I take that, but yeah, he, he did his thing, but the offense I forgot to mention is the false starts. They had so many penalties. On that, it was it was ridiculous. It really was. It was just flat out ridiculous with them false stars. Um, now let me get back to the defense. Calais, Bond, Star, Campbell. His other two brothers, the Mon the other two Bond stars, Derek Wolf and Brandon Williams, was not there, and he was. He, it seems like they just said, man, go represent for us. This dude got three sacks, four tackles for lot. He was on another level. Marlon Humphrey 
play very good. He had a forced fumble, but it went out of bounds. But that did not stop the team from continuing their trend of 19 straight games with a turnover. That is very good. But Marlon Humphrey led the team this time. And one more boy, PQ. It, he didn't lead the team in tackles this time, but he did lead the team. Marlon Humphrey did lead the team in tackles. Marlon Humphrey got a sack. Marlon Humphrey was literally everywhere like Calais Campbell was. Marcus Peters, that last play with that 49, what they call pass interference, that was so iffy because they both was like battling, but it's whatever, you know. My boy PQ, he didn't show out this game. He had only two tackles, but it's like the defense was swarming everywhere so fast. And they was on the field a little bit too much for me. I don't know the time of possessions because I felt like they was on the field a lot, a lot more than the offense was. And that's one of the problems why the score was, to me, was score so tight. And y'all can tell me if I'm wrong that it seems like I understand Giro is trying to get down the passing, but I understand we have a lead. Don't just sit there and pass, 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 pass. You do have to get some runs in there. Like I'm looking at one right now when the score is um, 17 to zero. And it shows passing complete, run for no gain. Then Lamar, he scrambled, which was a pass. He scrambled. He got 10 yards. Then he started running again. Then it's penalty, 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 penalty. Just like it was everywhere. So hopefully after this bye week, because we play the Steelers, and that right there is going to be a real, real good game because we haven't really played a top, top-notch team since Kansas City. And the Eagles had no business being this close to almost forcing the overtime. I don't even, in this game, I didn't see no bomb in this game with Lamar. I did not see that. I was hoping to see either a bomb with um, Hollywood or, or Dev, but the offensive line is not giving them that time, man. They switched out their right guard position, so it's looking like they're trying to find that right guard. And I'm agree. I agree with Engraven. What he said in one of his videos is that I wouldn't be surprised if right guard trade happens because that's one of our main problems is that offensive line. So hopefully with this bye week they can fix something or Eric DaCosta can do his godfather thing and get us somebody, wide receiver, pass rush, offensive line, something just to kind of spark it up. Because the way Calais Campbell played today and how bad the Eagles offensive line is, if we had a bona fide pass rusher, I don't think this score would have been as it, as it is now. Uh, as well if we if if our offensive line got better, we could see farther deep deep throws. But it looks like we're gonna have to get some of their their run option. I'm expected to see that a lot uh, when we play the Steelers. Um, I believe that game right there is gonna show Giro. It's 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 time to start. Stop, stop stop throwing the ball so much because it's getting getting close. It's getting close. And we're, that's a real team. And that game right there can be, I believe, can be, yeah, it can be for the, the crown, for the division. So, y'all tell me what you think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.